Operator and Training Study Guide, an introduction to water and wastewater operations. List the types of safety hazards associated with treatment plants or distribution collection systems. Answer. Treatment plants or distribution collection systems are potentially dangerous places to work. Physical injuries and body infections are a continuous threat from the following potential hazards. Working with electrical and mechanical equipment. Handling storage of treatment chemicals including chlorine. Working in confined spaces. Exposure, exposure to pathogens. Summarize the main subject or purpose of the Ontario Health and Safety Act. Answer, the Ontario Health and Safety Act, OH and S Act, and its regula regulations govern safety in the workplace. These regulations place demands on you, your supervisors, and your employer. To violate these regulations can lead to heavy fines and or imprisonment. The Act also gives workers the right to refuse to do work if he, she has reasonable grounds that the work is dangerous. Workers are ultimately responsible for their own safety. What does WEMIS stand for and what is the purpose? Answer: WEMIS stands for Workplace Hazardous Materials Information System. The purpose of WEMIS is to create a safer workplace by providing workers with the knowledge and tools to enable them to work safely. List some personal protective equipment that you may use and their purpose. Answer, safety boots, shoes, hard hats, gloves, self-contained breathing apparatus, safety belts, and other fall arrest systems are just a few items of PPE, PPE you may use. Feet must be protected with approved safety footwear to safeguard against injuries while breaking pavements, tamping trenches, handling materials, etc. Hard hats are required to prevent serious injuries in construction, excavation, and electrical work, buildings with low pipes, or in other work as directed by a supervisor. Gloves should be used whenever handling materials, sharp objects, chemicals, or electrical equipment. Use self-contained breathing apparatus, SCBA, when hazards such as chlorine, painting, or dust, dusty areas exist. Using safety belts and scaffolds can protect against accidents due to falls. What is the best defense against waterborne disease for an operator? Answer: Washing your hands is a must before eating, smoking, or using the washroom. It is generally a good policy never to put your hands above your collar when working with plant equipment. Wear protective gloves when where possible. List a specific caution that must be taken when working on working or repairing electrical equipment. Answer: When examining working or repairing electrical equipment, it is essential to lock out the control device and attach lockout tags. List the kinds of de detailed safety training you should expect to take as part of your operator training. Answer: There are several different types of training that you should take as part of your operator training. These will most likely depend on the type of duties you will perform. Typical operator safety training courses include confined space entry, WEMIS, Occupational Health and Safety, Traffic Safety, First Aid, and CPR. You should also discuss your training needs with your supervisor. Describe the hazards of working in confined spaces and cite some examples. Answer: Confined spaces pose a special safety hazard for operational staff because they are environments where the creation of an oxygen deficient atmosphere may occur. Explosive gases may also build up in confined spaces. Some examples include sewers, access, maintenance holes or manholes, digesters, below grade lift pumping stations, and valve chambers. Legislation. Name the Ontario re regulation that describes operational checks and sampling requirements for municipal drinking water systems. Answer. Ontario Regulation 170-3. Drinking Water Systems Regulation. Operators of domestic water, wastewater treatment and collection systems require a license to work in the province of Ontario as required by Regulation 129-04. Operators of drinking water treatment and distribution systems require a certificate to work in the province of Ontario as requested as required by Regulation 128-04. 128, 128 
If you are currently working in a facility which requires licensing certification, list some of the activities that you are not allowed to do without supervision. Answer, if you are currently working in a facility which requires licensing certification, you are not allowed to adjust a process, change flows, or adjust chemical dosages unless directly supervised by a licensed certified operator. You should discuss your duties and limitations with your supervisor. Identify the correct Ontario regulation to fit the following descriptions. Addresses water treatment and testing sampling. Addresses the licensing of sewage work, works operators. Addresses the certification of drinking water, water system operators and water quality analysts. Answer. The answer to addressing addresses water treatment and testing sampling is regulation Ontario Regulation 170-03. The answer for addresses the licensing of sewage work works operators is Ontario Regulation 129-04. The answer for addresses the certification of drinking water system system operators and water quality analysts is Ontario Regulation 128-04. Drinking water is legislated under what four acts? Drinking water in Ontario is legislated under, under four acts. The Safe Drinking Water Act, SW, SDWA. The Ontario Water Resources Act, o, OWRA. The Environmental Protection Act, EPA. And the Clean Water Act. Which regulation provides the minimum level of drinking water quality acceptable for human consumption? Answer Ontario Regulation 169-03, the Ontario Drinking Water Quality Standards, ODWQS. Which Ontario regulation identifies the minimum treatment requirements for groundwater and surface water sources? Answer Ontario Regulation 170-03, drinking water systems. Which Ontario regulation requires mandatory reporting of adverse test results? Answer, Ontario Regulation 170-03, Drinking Water Systems. Which Ontario regulation describes which drinking water systems need certified operators or trained persons to conduct certain tasks? Answer, Ontario Regulations 170-03. Do drinking water system owners and operators have legislative responsibilities? Answer, yes. The Safe Drinking Water Act and its regulations specify roles and responsibilities for owners and operators as well as for the Ministry of the, of the Environment and the Medical Officer of Health. There are serious consequences if regulatory requirements are not met. Basic and Applied Mathematics Imperial Metric Units and Conversions Number 1 Convert 4.5 feet to meters. Answer, 1.37 meters. Convert 32 meter square to square feet. Answer, 344.32 foot square. Convert 210 US gallons to meter cube. Answer, 0.79 meters cube. A plant has a flow rate of 84 liters per minute. Convert the flow rate to imperial gallons per day. Answer 26,608 gallons per day. The velocity of a liquid flowing in a pipe is 3.6 foot per second. What is the velocity in kilometers per hour? Answer 3.95 kilometers per hour. A solution has a density of 0 0.95 kilograms per meter cube. What is the density of density in pounds per foot cube? Answer 0 0.0. 059 pound per foot cube. Calculating area and volume. What is the area of a triangle that has a base of 90 centimeters and a height of 40 centimeters? Answer, area equals 1800 centimeters square. What is the surface area of a circular clarifier with a 15 meter radius? Answer, area equals 706.86 meters square. The surface area of the water within a rectangular sedimentation basin is 30.5 meters square. 
The basin is 4.6 meter wide. What is its length? Answer, length equals 6.6 .6 meters. Calculate the surface area of a pipe in meter square that is 0 0.35 meter in diameter at 6, meter, 6 meters long. Answer, area equals 6.6 .6 meters square. A rectangular sedimentation basin is 10 meter wide and 40 meter long. If there is a volume of 1600 meter cube of water in the basin, what is the depth of the water? Answer, depth, depth equals 4 meters. What is, the what is the capacity meter cube and liter of a triangular channel that is 1 meter wide, 1.3 meter deep, and 3.7 meter long? Answer, capacity or volume equals 2.4 meter cube or 2400 liters. A circular clarifier has a diameter of 10 meter and is 4.5 meter deep. If the depth of the water is 3.0 meters, how many meter cube of water are in the clarifier? Answer, volume of water equals 235.6 meter cube. The upper portion of an elevator tank is shaped like a cone. What is the volume of the cone shape portion if the diameter of the tank is 30 feet and the height of the cone is 6 feet? Answer, volume of cone equals 1,413.7 foot cube. What is the volume of a water droplet that has a diameter of 6 millimeter? Assume the droplet is a, is a perfect sphere. Answer, volume of droplet equals 113.1 millimeter cube. Metric prefixes. Complete the table below. Prefix nano, symbol, lowercase n, multiplier, 10 to the power negative 9. Micro, symbol, lowercase u, multiplier, 10 to the power negative 6. Milli, symbol, lowercase m, 10 to the power negative 3. Centi, lowercase c, 10 to the power negative 2. Kilo, lowercase k, 10 to the power of 3. Mega, capital M, 10 to the power of 6. Giga, capital G, 10 to the power of 9. Basic and Applied Science, Public Health, micro, Microbiology, and Environmental Health. Describe the difference in managing microorganisms in water and wastewater treatment. Answer, water treatment operators focus on removing or inactivating dangerous microorganisms that can harm human health. Wastewater operators manage the production of microorganisms in order to break down sewage and sludges. List some microorganisms that are relevant to drinking water and list possible origin sources of these microorganisms. Answer. Microorganisms are commonly found in water including inclu microorganism, microorganisms that are commonly found in water include bacteria, viruses, protozoa, and algae. Not all microorganisms found in water are pathogenic. Pathogenic microorganisms may originate from improperly treated sewage, storm water runoff, septic beds, farm animal feces, or other natural sources. Define the word pathogen. Answer, a pathogen is a disease-causing agent. Pathogen is most often used when referring to microbiological biological organisms but it may also be used for disease-causing agents which are not organisms. Example, nitrate. What do microorganisms need to survive? Answer, to survive, microorganisms need energy, carbon, and other nutrients, specific pH and temperature conditions, and in some cases, oxygen or anaerobic conditions. What is the difference between aerobic and anaerobic microorganisms? Answer, Aerobic microorganisms require the presence of oxygen to survive, while anaerobic microorganisms exist in anaerobic little or no oxygen environments. Name a strategy that some microorganisms use to survive harsh conditions 
such as low food, drought, or extreme temperatures? Answer, certain protozoa may form cysts or oocysts and survive under harsh conditions. Describe how raw or improperly treated sewage can lead to environmental, environmental degradation. Answer, raw or improperly treated sewage can lead to the degradation degradation of the environment because sewage has a high nitrogen and phosphorus